What's the word, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sykes, and I'm here today to show you how to use Drill Essentials V2. If you already bought the pack, you feel me, and you got it installed, man, just sit tight real quick. If you don't have the pack already, this is what you do. You got to go to jsykes.nyc. Come down here. You either have the choice to buy V1, V2 separately, or you can buy both of them at the same time but at a discounted price. The choice is yours you feel what i'm saying so once you check out and you get v2 you're gonna get a download link once you download it you're gonna get a folder that looks like this you feel what i'm saying and you're gonna extract this to somewhere safe your desktop any way you want to once you extract the zip file you're just going to uh take this and drag this into your after effects direct you're gonna go to wherever you have your after effects stuff saved in your directory you gotta go to program files adobe i have 2024 so i'll go on to 2024 supported files presets v2 there you go these are all the presets you feel what i'm saying so um yeah we're gonna start off with the run the, uh, the one framers these are not easy to use you feel what i'm saying you know, uh, let's get workflow up in the air sorry i'm lazy if you're lazy like me you love workflow if you're not lazy that you could just add an adjustment layer i'm just going up there layer no at adjustment layer but i'm not doing all that so i'm just gonna press this a couple of times one two three all right and i'm gonna take these uh, adjustment layers above my composition uh, i mean above my main clip and i'm gonna shorten all of these to be one frame right and i'm gonna give them some uh some uh, variety so i'm gonna bring one that way and maybe bring this one to the middle and on that very first one they're basically the base uh these are the base for the effect so this is just the, so rsn being and a little bit of blur just to start off the effect let me say you just slap that on there and you see it gets a little blurry yeah there we go and then we can add on the second one and third one press b and n on your keyboard you can just play that real quick Ugh. Look, that looks sick. And if they turn this off, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, they, they still had a nice little transition there, but you feel me? You add the one frame in, it just complements that real crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Um, that's basically how you use those. Like, you get the same results for uh, the other three. All right columns that we have here but let's let me just add three more and just stack these and kind of do the same thing we did before but with just another preset in a way you could just throw one there and on the hot half tone i'm gonna put the second one in the middle layer you feel me and then the third one will be on the top there we go we see that glow on the corners and shit like that so So yeah, let's move on to the flickers. You feel what I'm saying? Let's say um, I wanted to flicker up this clip that they got over here on the light with the lights and stuff like that uh, in, the, in the elevator. And right, let me just get another adjustment layer. And let me just uh, open up these flickers and let's do the impact. The impacts work like, they kind of work like shakes. See, it gives you a nice little shake with a flicker and glint you tell me we can just try one more of those other shakes and yeah let's just delete everything out of that top that file let's just impact the flicker with the glow kind of the same thing i would kind of use this in between two pieces of footage like if you see i already have two keyframes that's before like the actual flash so if you like drag this back and it bring this above like your clip before you would, you would get a cool lot of that cool effect out of this too look it 
feel what I'm saying? So, you know, now let's just delete everything up out of here. And since we already got like a little transition before this, we just going to leave this and just start messing with the shakes. The bright X and the bright Z. These presets definitely say so we show you some. You want to make sure you have an adjustment layer and on that adjustment layer, you have like two or three frames open on your last clip. So you'll be able to get, you know, good love out of this because it builds up, it gets bright and then it zooms out. The chill wiggles are just a couple of sub tool shapes that happen in between like certain instruments on a beat. Yeah, let me show you how these to apply the preset. All you really have to do is just uh, put these adjustment layers to certain beats on a song so it can make the screen bop. For example, like if you see that I'm lining up three adjustment layers, right? I basically have those adjustment layers lined up with the song and they're just like shaking to the beat. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. Just imagine you have nothing on this, right? But then you add an adjustment lane and you add one of these other monochromes or these inverted, these slickers, right? You got these bad boys just. And then having like freaking RSMB. All right, all right, all right. I'm telling y'all too much. So let's move on though. Let's move on <laughs> to one of the last shakes real quick. The last shake is kind of tricky. So I kind of really wanted to tell you how to use this before you sit here and be like oh sorry you're scamming me bro nah, no i'm not no i'm not it just looks funny so this is the vibey this is, this is the vibey this this this, this is the vibe i add the vibe to a new adjustment layer i don't even have an adjustment layer that's what i have to add so click click give an adjustment layer and i'm gonna add this vibey shape to it right and let me just open this real quick right you see all these black keyframes yeah right so let's gonna we're gonna put this in quarter because this has flicker this has s shake and yeah it, let's say you have 1080p footage and the transform and it looks funny like a lot of these other people's shape presets you just want to come up here and uh right click in the anchor point the position look for everywhere that has an anchor point of position you just reset it you feel me that's why there's no keyframes thing I mean, I'm gonna always bless y'all and make sure y'all not out here looking like idiots when y'all edit in y'all projects, you know, you don't have to do no extra shit, fuck them. But these zooms are pretty nice, but you see this very last keyframe right here? That shit is very ugly, so how you defeat this is, right? You take all of the keyframes. First of all, you have to be listening to your song, so... I want that first shake to be there. And then this part over here, we're gonna highlight these last set of keyframes and hold all, click and drag until it's like out of the, out of the fucking way. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Y'all get the gist of what I'm telling y'all, right? Y'all want that? You don't want that black stuff there. So this right here is just a little luma thingy right so let's say you apply it all right and you see what it's doing it's making everything black so all you do is you duplicate your footage i'm so sorry and you delete all of the effects and you bring it to the bottom and then it gives you this cool little bob here right and let's say you take a uh, another adjustment layer and go like a chain clamp on the right it's lighting up the local lemonade thing but as you can see it's also lighting up this chain you know what i'm saying but that's what i mainly made this for so you could like get all of the bright features in the scene and let's delete this one and let's add the old film look. This right here. There's a film look that I came up with. So you mess with that. 
got this as well this is why i told you that you guys might be twitch you know so magic bullet looks yes sir and that's really it as far as the presets go but let's go take you guys to those titles and let me show y'all what the titles is really smacking for my boy all right man so this title is pretty tricky to deal with so if you have blender 4.0 or later you're good you feel what i'm saying so first of all before you start touching things i don't know how your interface is but you want to make sure you come down to this right section the right section this is like your toolbar and shit. you feel me this is what you use for your modifiers and objects and, uh, your object uh, properties and your render settings everything you feel what i'm saying and you're gonna come over here to this little tool and you're gonna just press the um the screen and just turn off that modifier real quick so now you just got some text here so come to your viewport and let's make sure that our text pops up right uh, it should be yeah uh, let's make sure it pops up right where this text is at so let's go to edit mode by pressing tab and click a spot and then you want to hit shift s and then hit cursor to select it hit tab one more time and then shift a and let's drop the text in there and when you drop your text in there let's rotate this by negative 90 and 90 degrees and then we're gonna change this to the wow well, this is gonna be like a yep 180 and then you want to hit like g and x to move it on the x-axis g and y to move it on the y and then g or like z to move it on the z-axis feel me all right so now that you have your text you want to press tab and go to your a the little a over here yeah these are your text properties so you want to come over here and let's find a font i'm going to use a quick font like this yeah whatever this is and I'm gonna center it. So we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find the horizontal, the paragraph section, and you're gonna put center. And then, yeah, let's move your text back to where you need it to be. All right, so now you just wanna right click the text now, hit convert to, and convert to a mesh. Once you do that, and you wanna take the text and you're gonna hit Shift A and apply the scale, which is rotation and the location or you could just hit all transforms so now you're ready to animate so now you want to come back into edit mode and press a over your text and if you can't see your text and it's bothering you you could just turn off this uh this collection up here by just pressing this little check box and now you want to extrude your text by pressing a you press e and you could just extrude it in the z position now you situate it you got a 3d similar 3d text all right, and now let's uh, let's make this look a little more ice though. Let's let's hit this, and then let's go to modifiers on the text, and let's add a remesh modifier. Let's go to smooth and change this to five. Let's change the threshold to about zero point six, and let's uh. Let's smooth in these text out just a little bit. And let's change the segments to set. Now you want to hit a uh, shade tool. And you want to apply this modifier. So, all right. So now that you have your text extruded and you have it somewhat smooth. You want to come to the geometry nodes tab and the modifiers when you have your text highlighted. And you just want to. Sorry. You want to add that geometry node on. And now you have a frozen text. You feel what I'm saying? And how you get the ice frozen texture, you can just come into your settings open. You can turn this off again. And you can come into the settings either get you uh, ice texture that comes from blender kit or you can use the one that's provided with the project file by just going to the shading tab right this uh, click this and just click ice boom 
now you got an ice texture and if this doesn't work y'all just let me know down in the description below i mean or in the comments you feel me or if you're familiar with blender you can just go to one of the third party websites like ambient cg and you can just search for like ice or quixel bridge or any kind of you know any texture website and just find some ice and throw it on your text but yeah that's basically how you use that and if you have issues with the particle with the uh icicles that's because you didn't apply your uh you didn't apply your scales correctly you feel what i'm saying you should never have an issue with that when you're dealing with geometry levels all you gotta do is apply your scale and you should be straight you feel what i'm saying so yeah let's move on to the next thing. all right man so for this title man this shit right here is hella easy so all you gotta do first of all if you want to know what you're doing uh you want to come to this little ball over here which is your viewpoint shading and you'll see that it this is the glitch thing right here so don't get scared if you see the solid text shit that's not working so we want to make sure you're in tab which is edit mode i'm sorry make sure you're in edit mode you can enter edit mode by hitting tab right i'm not going to change the text i'm just going to show you guys how to change the font whenever you're in edit mode that's when you're able to change the font and everything so come down to this tab which is this little a icon over here and you hit one of these folders i always hit the first one because that's just like the most logical one to hit and i'm just gonna find a large a thick text thick text look cool with this we we'll use this bad boom and yeah here we go with this so basically if you want to animate the text what you have to do is you will cut make sure you're out of edit mode so you if you're in edit mode still hit edit and then highlight the text and here go and if you don't see what i'm seeing which is two nodes you're just gonna come to the shading tab and in the shading tab you're gonna get these set of nodes where your object is highlighted and here you can change the color of your glitch over here with the light strength and if you want to change the thickness of your text you could play around with these this color ramp that's added after your pixel count you feel what i'm saying if you have an issue you could just report right back to this shit you feel me as an i don't think it's that hard y'all and if you want to animate the glitch let's say for say in and out you would press high on your keyboard right and then you would go somewhere later on down the line of your timeline like for instance here come back to your shader tab press this and like change the fat and then press i again and then start it from the beginning you will have a little animation going on there but you could get real crafty with this all you have to do is really change these sliders you're really gonna get what you want you know what i'm saying but just don't play around with too much you know get the wave texture right here you feel me you got some more annoying texture right here i really wouldn't play with this too much but this one you can definitely play with this so yeah and you could get the little distortion you need the detail and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so you could get real crafty with this title but it's not really to explain more that you feel what i'm saying and then you can easily go into the edit mode uh nah i think can you convert this to a mesh you convert this to a mesh yep and then you could press a e c and you can extrude this as well and then come out and there you go you got you a nice silver i mean if you're real crafty with blender you can make yourself like an outline for this shit and everything you feel me but yeah man and that's it for this tutorial y'all i really want to thank y'all for um you know getting me to my 5k subscribers you know i'm gonna keep going pushing more for more and more subscribers you get what i'm saying also i want to thank everybody who bought the first pack bro we got i done made over three thousand dollars with the first pack even though we had a group of people who leaked it we don't even really pay attention to them individuals because they went they be but you feel me bro i really want to thank everybody that believe in me everybody that you know i just taps in everybody who's spending money with me everybody who's just playing a part you feel me as i being a part of this community you feel me so uh i'll be back with more and y'all stay tuned bro i hope this one is better than the first one and yeah also make sure y'all stay typed in because i got some more packs coming in there as well bro other than that bro i appreciate y'all i love y'all peace out thank you